Hey friends, this is the Miss Volfi. Yeah, don't look at my hair. This is the Miss Volfi from our half acre homestead and today we're gonna make Gracie some dog food. We have been fighting yeast infections and rashes in her ears and, and a little bit around her mouth too that I've, I've noticed. We've been working on finding the correct balance of dog food for her to stop the yeast and the rashes in her ears and on her mouth. And homemade dog food is the best way to go. But you can't always do homemade dog food. So we think we found some solutions and here they are. Now here I have a pot of um, bones from when we butchered Periwinkle and Buddy. And they had lots of meat on them. So I just cooked them down and I separated the broth from the bones and now we're just gonna take the meat off the bones. And in, while our broth, in our broth I put rice and carrot powder and parsley and we're cooking that all together. But in the meantime, we're just gonna start taking the meat off these bones and putting it in a parchment lined bread tray. I just want to make sure there's no like soft bones. I don't, you know, Gracie doesn't mind these bones because they are soft, but you got to be careful when giving cooked bones to your dogs, folks. I don't know why, but somebody warned me about that. And, and of course, somebody's right here begging. There you go. I simmered them for a couple of days. I wanted to make sure I got all the the goodness out of these bones, like the gelatin and I've stuff. I've decided after taking the bones out that there's a lot of meat here. There's probably 10 pounds of meat. So I'm going to add this to the broth and the rice and the vegetables on the stove, and I'm gonna heat it up all together so that it will be even when I put it in the pans. So here's our pot with the broth and the rice. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just going to put this pot on. Oops, sorry about the steam, folks. Put this pot on, and I'm going to pour my broth and rice and everything right over top. So, now what we're going to do, I'm just going to put the lid on this and turn it down to low and let that rice soak up all the broth. Okay, Gracie's food is done. And I'm just going to pour it in this big stainless steel roasting. Now it looks liquid, folks, but once this is cooled, it will gel. So we're just going to kind of shake this down. And I'm going to put this out on the freezer in the porch to chill. We'll see you when this is all done. Okay, so here's the dog food, and I've cut it into nice big wedges. So here we are, and I hope I chilled this enough to get my egg lifter. So now all I'm going to do is I'm going to take these squares of dog food, and I'm just gonna wrap them for the freezer. Hopefully, by the time she's gone through this, we'll have figured out what is causing her yeast in her ears. And if I have to, I will continue to make her own food. Now, before I made her homemade dog food from the goat bones, I had run out of her homemade canned dog food, and I bought a bag of pedigree. Now, folks, I am guilty for buying the name. I bought the name thinking that it was a healthier dog food. Now, I once had a vet tell me that all dog foods had to have a certain standard amount of protein and nutrients and that they were all pretty much the same. But uh, so I didn't bother reading the label. I bought the name. But guess what? The first ingredient on the pedigree is corn. She hated it. She would only eat the pedigree as a last resort. A lot of times she'd flip her food bowl over in protest. So yesterday we went to Costco and started reading labels. So as you can see, Gracie's eating with gusto. This is pedigree. And that bag is like a month old because she wouldn't eat it. Guess what? The first ingredient on that is corn. 
This is a Kirkland brand I got from Costco. Look at her eating it, Howie. This is the first time she's really gone to gusto with kibble, eh? Gracie, is that good yums? There we go. I think we finally found Gracie's food. I have never seen her so steadfastly concentrate on a bowl of kibble like she is on this. So what is this? Look out, Gracie. No, I'm not taking it away, honey. Is that your food? Oh, my goodness. Are you happy? This is chicken, rice, and vegetable formula. This is the Miss Volvi from our Half Acre Homestead saying, let's hope that this is what's going to save her ears from getting infected with yeast again. A change in diet. Take care. God bless.